Hello, hello, mic check. Is this thing on? It's been so long, I don't even remember how all of this works. What is going on, Drawing 2 Crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. The first one in a long while. Yes, I'll admit. Uh, I have so many characters lined up to draw for you guys. And today we are going to get started by drawing Moon Knight from the Disney Plus TV series from a couple months back. Like before you guys, I'm going to be using pencils and paper to, to draw my tutorials. Um, I know that there are other mediums out there nowadays, like you can go digital and stuff like that. But for the most part, a lot of the people who watch my YouTube channel, they've got pencils and they've got paper in hand. So I'm going to be using those traditionally. And there's going to be some new aspects to uh, this that I'm trying out for this uh, uh, drawing tutorials, I guess you could say. Um, there's going to be a new section where I break down the drawing in the beginning. And then I'll show you guys the tutorials and then like a really quick um, time lapse of me inking the drawing at the very end. And as always, you can always download the uh, coloring page for the tutorials on my website, drawit2.com. Wait, I better check to make sure that that website's still running. Anyway, you guys, if you're ready, grab your drawing tools. Let's get started. So this is the part of the tutorial, which is brand new, that I'm going to call the breakdown. And this is where we get to take a look at the image that we're going to draw and break it down into little shapes that's easy for us to understand. So um, I'm going to do this with you guys. So let's take a look. Um, if you guys see Moon Knight, traditionally what we like to do is we like to draw a circle for the head and then draw the chin similar to this. So there's that aspect right there. Those are just like the lines that we like to draw for the um, for the face, for the head part. And then if you guys notice, you see the middle of his chest actually goes this way, right? And his chest goes right here, and it goes this way and to the armpit like that. Okay, and then right here, same thing here, you have, you don't see much of the neck because he's, we're looking at him from a very low angle. So you don't see the neck very much, but what you, uh, what you do see is see the shoulders and it goes down like this. Okay. And then let's draw a ball for the shoulder here, ball for the shoulder there. And this isn't, um, like I said, this is just me breaking it down. This isn't the actual tutorial. That's why I'm going kind of fast, but I just want you guys to take a look at what it looks like. And then we'll go a little bit slower with the actual drawing tutorial. Okay. So, um, you have the arm right here. And then you have the torso. You see how for superheroes, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a, a wide, like wider up here and gets narrower as you go down. It sort of gives it a definite superhero shape. Here on this side, you don't see this arm very much. So let's just cover it up like that. Those are the biceps. And then you have the um, forearm right here. And then the arm, or sorry, the hand right here and the hand is a pretty basic shape if you take a look at it it's basically like that okay and then instead of drawing a moon shape what i'm going to do is like complete the circle first and then we'll just draw the moon afterwards okay okay so here's the center right here now this is supposed to be a circle but because you see it in an angle uh, you see that it's not a circle it's an oval right Okay, here's the belt part, or whatever you call this, a sash. And it sort of goes outward like this. He's got this, um, I don't know what you call it, but like Sub-Zero, a lot of ninjas have it, like this little sash that goes down to cover like the crotch area. And then here you have the butt part, and then you have uh, the leg. And the leg kind of has this weird angle and then you have lines that go this way, and then you have like the knee, the knee pad or whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Um, I really like the Moon Knight design. It's very intricate, very, very elaborate. You could spend a lot of time kind of just like making this look really good, but we're going to try to simplify it. What you can do is you can take this very same image and um, add as much detail as you want to. 
and then I'll leave it to you guys uh, to do that. Anyway, if you guys take a look over here, let me zoom in on the head part, you'll see that the hood meets at the eye line. So here's the eye line, which is where the eyes are, but the hood actually like goes right smack dab in the middle of that. Okay. And the hood goes a little bit higher and then sort of does this. Okay. So there's that. So that gives you a general shape of what we want. Here's just like the, the front chest template part. And then here's like, you see this little panel here that's a little bit separate. And that's that. So there's Moon Knight, you guys. And let me, if I take this layer off, you'll see that this is sort of what it looks like. Very simple design or very simple lines. Uh, but this will give you like the foundations that you need in order to draw that Moon Knight um, drawing or Moon Knight uh, image, right? Okay, so that's the breakdown. Now let's go ahead and let's turn this into Moon Knight. And look, you guys, look who's joined our tutorial. I've got the action figure for Moon Knight himself. So this is a Marvel Legend action figure. One of the things that I collect, if you guys don't already know, you could probably see it behind me here. But yeah, take a look at how intricate his uh, costume is. So let's take this and turn it into a drawing. Okay, we're going to start by, uh, again, just like the breakdown, we're going to start with a circle and it's sort of off center at the top here. And I'm going to start by drawing like this, okay? Not a perfect circle or anything. Uh, and then the head was sideways. So I'm gonna do that. And then if you guys remember, the chin looks like this. Okay, so there's there's that, and then there's the center of the head, and then the eye line. I like to kind of go from here to here. So remember, the eye line is where the hood kind of comes from. So it sort of looks like that already. Okay. Again, you guys, if you're not familiar with, uh, if it's been a while, if you're not familiar with my drawing tutorials, I ask you guys to pause if you guys need to catch up. So I'm going to go about it with my pace, but we all have different paces. We all kind of draw in different um, speeds. So yeah, pause if you need. Uh, if you guys find I'm going way too slow, you could even like speed up this video if you really want to. So anyway, there's that right there. Remember I said that the chest is not quite... Um, not centered. So I'm going to start right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that's sort of almost parallel to this line right here. It sort of, well, it curves, but then it sort of goes down uh, similar to this stuff. Okay. I'm going to draw it like that for now. I'm going to draw a little bit of a neck. We don't see much of the neck, but there it is right there. And then the shoulders are going to start from here, like this part of the neck here. It's going to go at an angle this way and at an angle this way. And it's fairly, it's not broad, it's uh, just slightly angled down. Okay, so now this point right here, not too far now, about this distance away, I'm going to draw the chest part. And the chest sort of goes like that. And then right around here. And let's go back over here and I'm going to draw a line going across to the other shoulder. So I'm going to find a spot right here. That's a good spot right there. And I'm just going to draw a line going across. And that sort of gives you like the clavicle or this right here. If you guys can feel your bone right here, that's kind of like the top of the chest, uh, generally speaking. Okay, so here's the, here's the rounded chest and then same thing, like going across like that. Okay. And then here it goes narrower. It goes closer towards the center chest line. I guess it goes a little bit lower down. Okay, so pay very close attention to the proportions. Now is the time where you kind of want to pause the video, take a look to make sure that everything you're drawing is sort of proportional to each other. Maybe you drew the head a little too small, maybe you drew it a little too big. So uh, you guys decide that you choose. Um, it's up to you whether you, whether you, or it's fine, you know, okay. Right here, I'm going to draw the shoulder. And remember, the shoulder is just like a, an oval. And you don't want that oval more of a, yeah, like that shape. You don't want that oval to be too big either. So remember, pay close attention to the uh, proportions of your drawing. Right around here, 
I'm gonna make the chest sort of do this. So if you guys can see that sort of, if if we were drawing things anatomically, this is where we draw like the nipple part. Yeah, but you know, we don't see Moon Knight's nipples. Why am I talking about nipples? Okay, anyway, um, right here, it goes this way and then down. Okay, again, pay close attention to the proportions. Make sure that you guys are paying, uh, like minding it so that you're not, you know, it's better to do it now while you're at this stage than when you're like adding details later and then realizing, oh no, like I, I accidentally made a part too big and then you, had, you gotta go back, you know, so this is the best time to do it. Okay, so here, I'm gonna draw the line going across. That's gonna be for his sash right here. A bit of a circle over here. We can draw the oval here now. And the oval sort of goes, it's like a diagonal oval. Like so. Like in the drawing, I do have a, a drawing or I do have my tutorial, the drawing, the image right in front of me. So I, I have it for reference as well. Plus, this thing's pretty useful as well. Okay, let's draw the shoulder on the side. There you go. I'm gonna move this up so you guys can see the rest. There you go. Let's put Moon Knight over here, watching over us. I'm gonna tilt his head. There you go. <laughs> okay, um, the belt itself goes, it sort of gets narrower as you get to the middle and then it gets wider as you go outward. So there's that. I didn't draw the cape earlier, by the way. He does have a cape, which is uh, iconic for the character. That's the crescent moon shape. Okay, so now what I've done is I drew the thigh. I'm gonna cut it off like right around here, sort of where I'm gonna end it. But yeah, there's the thigh right there. Sort of ends right there. You don't see much of it because there's a sash in the front. And I'm just gonna draw that for that. And then right here, it's a very weird shape, but here's like his, his uh, gluteus maximus or his butt. Um, you see his knee pad is right here. So he's actually got his thigh angled this way so that he's got like his knees kind of, let me, if I were to do it this way, it's kind of looking like this. And you see how it's sort of, foreshortened that's what it's called so it looks short compared to this one especially so that's what this is the thigh and you see the knee part and it's narrow and we're just going to leave it to that point okay now we don't want the arm to go any past this so pay close attention as you draw it okay let's draw the arms so here's the sorry here's the uh biceps i can trying to remember what the body part was called. Um, if it helps you guys, uh, another thing you could do is you could kind of draw exactly where you want the arm to go. So here's the elbow right here-ish, and then going down. So follow that. And then over here is the forearm. It goes there. Remember, simple shapes as simple as you can. And this one I'm just gonna draw like a hexagon for now with this line longer. There you go. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. We're gonna draw a moon shape right here or a circle because he's gonna be holding his moonerangs. <laughs> what does he call them? I don't remember. And looks like that. Okay, and the other side, you want to make sure that you're kind of drawing them proportionally. So if your your elbows are here, then try to make it so that your elbow is here on the other side as well. Again, we don't see much of this arm. We don't see much of this bicep anyway. And then, yeah, like a, again, um, you guys want to draw kind of where you want that arm to go you can draw the middle part okay you want to try to have the same wrist same area there you go and then long line one two 
three, a four, just like that. And we'll leave it at that for now. I'm not sure how long this tutorial is going to go. I think it might go a little long because of the amount of detail required. Okay, so you've got this. Now he's got lines going down his leg here. So let's draw that starting here, going out towards the knee. And then another one on this side. Another one on this side. Okay, there's three there. And then let's draw the hood part. So let me bring this back up this way, back down this way. Okay, let's continue the hood. So the hood kind of goes up, doesn't exactly rest at the top of the head, but it goes a little bit higher up this way with a point sort of in the center. Okay, and if you think of it, you see how right here it sort of meets here at the, at the chin part. So let's do the exact same thing. This goes out and then have this meet that, like that, and then back this way, okay? You don't, you don't want it to go a little too far out, so let me fix that. I don't want mine to go out too far either. And you don't want this one to go too high up, otherwise it'll look a little bit weird. So there you go. Uh, I hope you guys are using pencils for this part, by the way, I forgot to mention that, but I guess it's kind of assumed back to the chin, outwards this way, and this one's a bit more of a curve. This one's at an angle, this one's at a curve. There we go. There. So now we've got our basic Moon Knight uh, shape right here. Now I hope you guys are ready because what we're going to do now is we're going to start filling in the tiny little details that make Moon Knight, Moon Knight, okay? Um, in the comments below, if you guys have the time, if you guys remember, let me know what you guys think of the show. Um, I'm always a fan of like Disney shows or sorry, Marvel shows. So like I, a lot of people have their criticisms about Moon Knight, but I thought it was quite enjoyable. Honestly, it was quite, it was, it was, it was pretty good. All right. So that's going to go, let's go to the head. And let's start adding the details. Again, I'm not going to add all the details here just to make this video tutorial short. But if you guys take a look at the reference image, um, you guys can add all the details, even shading and all that stuff if you guys really want to. So, okay, I'm going to start by drawing the the moon shape. There's like a, a moon shape. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not very clear over here, but there's an, an outline that sort of goes like this at the bottom. Yeah, and then this sort of creates a triangle, just like that. And then in that triangle is the crescent moon. And instead of drawing the crescent moon, draw the circle and then draw another circle that's sort of touching the right side of that bigger circle. And that's how you get a crescent moon. There you go. There's lots of details that you can add to the rest of the uh, of the hood if you guys really want to go that far, even the inside. Okay, let's figure out where the eyes go. Here's the eye line. So as we assume that the eyes sort of just go this way. Now his eyes are pretty distinct. They glow, they're white. And what I like to draw, what I like to do with my eyes is I like to not make them round. In the reference photo, you can actually see that his eyes are rounder, almost like an oval, perfect oval. But I like to draw mine with a little bit more angles, just like that. Try to make them as symmetrical as possible. Like whatever you do on this side, you try to do the same on this side. And you just keep working at it until you get like a, a shape that you like, okay? the very top he's got like very cool Egyptian inspired like mummy inspired them um, bandages that go around so I'm gonna follow the same thing goes up and then down on that on the sides like this and then here is the top part of the nose and you got this going down this way it's going down this way. 
again it's almost like a Egyptian ninja there you go and then there you go at the bottom or below that looking good so far and then here you're gonna have like an elaborate very elaborate um, pattern of just uh, what do you call it the mummy wrap so let's start right here two lines going in right there and then over here two lines going inward like this I'm going to start right here and I'm going to go this way and then this goes this way you see how actually I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to draw several lines going outward this way four lines to be specific okay and then right here I'm going to draw a line going across like that and then this one's going to go across to this side you see how it sort of creates this zigzag shape. And then over here, it sort of becomes more where this side takes over all of the lines. There you go. And then just shape it up. Now there's not a lot of detail with the like what's actually here on the inside part so we're just going to leave it blank but the the right here just above just draw a bunch more of those mummy wraps lines okay there's even like a lot of detail on the inside of the on the inside of the hood but i'm not gonna uh add much to it so here's the hood part cleaning it up a little bit darkening the lines that I like there you go okay now the hood goes this way trusty eraser erasing all the details that we don't need So you see a little bit of the neck there, and then here in the hood, there's an outline, and then a bunch of, a bunch more of those lines, okay? Cool. So there you go. There's the head part. Now let's do the torso. Now if you guys take a look at the torso, you'll see that there's um, this chest piece right here. So we're going to draw that part first. So it starts off right here. See how, yeah, this middle part starts here. It sort of goes outwards to this area. And it does that. Okay. So there's that part. And then there's another part that goes downward like this and then well, let's figure out where it ends first uh, right above the navel part right around here that's where you want it to end a little bit longer on this side because we see this side more this is more of a like it's tilted sideways okay so from here now curve like that same thing here curve this way so now you see this little uh, chest piece almost like an armored piece that he's got right there okay I'm gonna erase a, a few of these uh, details here okay so let's focus on that chest piece now clean out that center circle we're going to simplify this a little bit i'm going to draw another circle inside of it like that and by circle i mean oval okay and then i'm going to draw a circle like this and that creates that crescent shape okay and then there's a bunch of the you see how over here it's 
you have a, a, a bit of wrapping that sort of covers that that's that crescent shape so I'm just gonna draw it three up there one big one down here and there you go so there's that and then the wrapping sort of comes outward from the crescent shape So when you do the wrapping, you want to make sure that you're keeping a consistent, um, what do you call it, a width to them. You don't you don't want them to start looking like some wraps are way bigger than the others. You want to try to keep it consistent, and then at a certain point, so everything like everything starts from the center and goes outward. So what I can do, what you can do is draw a couple of guidelines that sort of determine how the wrapping is going to come out of that circle. So I did I did a few here just like that. And then you just follow along and you just create a bunch of lines coming outward that show the wrapping. Not all the way because it's like layered and it's kind of complicated how they overlap each other. So I'm going to draw a couple coming out, but I'm also going to leave a, a few gaps because within those gaps, I'm going to sort of draw, like I left a gap right here. I'm going to draw the like underneath and it's, it's like more wrapping, but it's a, like it, it, it goes at an angle just like that. Okay. And then, Again, if you guys want to take the time to, you know, add like intricate little lines here to make it more interesting, to give it a little bit more detail, feel free to do that. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going until all of this is complete. There you go. Cool, cool. Let's focus on the belt part. And again, it's like a Crescent motif. So, crescent. There's like a solid gold or gold line that goes at the top. Gold line that goes at the top. There you go. So, now that we have that, let's create the side pieces. Find the spot right here. Make it go down. And this goes to the side like this. And over here, you don't really see much of it. Just very, very faint. Again, it creates the illusion that Moon Knight's armor is just like these layered pieces, which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so there you go. And then for this, it's just a bunch of lines that go this way. I'm gonna draw a line going down the center and then there's a bunch of lines that go this way as well. They sort of overlap, kind of like it does here in the mask. Okay, same thing over here. There you go. And then the middle part. Um, out here, there's um, there's this aspect, like which separates the shoulder part. And this one is just. It seems to all kind of come at an angle like this. So to simplify, we're just going to do it like this. And then up here, it's going to go up like that. Okay. Same thing here. And there you go. So you see how it's just It creates this illusion of layers. Okay, his shoulder shoulders are actually pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we're gonna I'm gonna start right here with like this little part right here that that creates his uh, shoulder pad. Maybe a little too 
wide going a little too high up there. Okay, and then from center, just going outwards. So this is his shoulder pad, and it sort of goes upward as well. And then coming from the armpit, it keeps going outward. And then it creates this padded layer. And then here in between, it's a bunch of more padding going this way. Here in the arm now, let's uh, shape his arm. I'm making it a little bit more muscular than the reference image, just to give him a more superheroic shape. I also made his head smaller. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah. I like to create these lines right here to kind of just show that the fabric is bunching up here in the, and the, whatever you call this part, the elbow armpit, elbow pit. Okay. So here we've sectioned off the bicep part. And this one, if you can imagine like a line going sideways right here, they're diagonal lines that go like this and they're not straight. They're kind of rounded. They follow like the shape of the bicep. And then same thing on this side, but overlapping and making this very cool, elaborate zigzag line. Again, if you guys are, you know, if you need to pause this to add those details in, go for it because I am going quite fast. I don't know how long this video has become, but yeah. Let's go over here and let's kind of do the same thing. You don't see much of the shoulder, like I said before, but we do see that things come from the armpit and then they make their way upwards. Like that. And then here's the shoulder and then the gauntlet part. I'm going to draw a diagonal line here, much like I did on this side. Like so, and then the biceps, they bunch up right here. The fabric does, and then there you go. Mm -hmm. And then for this one, There you go, just to simplify it, that's what it looks like on the side. Cool. Let's keep going, you guys. I think um, we're making we're making progress, what do you think? Let's uh, focus on the gauntlets now, and the gauntlet sort of goes diagonal up here, and then down here it sort of goes diagonal downwards. And then curve. There you go. And let's do the same thing on this side while we're at it. Okay. Outline the top and outline the bottom. Same thing on this side. There you go. I like to draw my lines not too dark. I'm, I'm drawing it darker for the sake of you guys being able to see it on video. But normally what I would do is I, I would kind of draw these a lot more lightly so that if I make a mistake and I want to erase it, I'm not leaving, you know, like shadow, shadow lines. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm drawing a series of lines going diagonally kind of same distance from each other this way. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing going opposite. Now if you look at the reference photo, you'll see that they, they have a different type of overlap. So sometimes this overlaps, this line overlaps this, so on and so forth. But it does create like this right here. So that's what we're trying to go for. And let's do the same thing on this side. One, 
just three this way. And then one, two, three this way. There you go. And then I'll leave you to create those details. There's like tons of stuff in between. Like if you really want to go crazy, there's a lot of details going in, in between as well. But yeah, we're not going to go that far, I think. All right, sash, sash part. So let's start from here, from the crotch area and then making our way downwards. And it's just a bunch of folds, really. There you go. And then from the crescent, a bunch of lines going outward from it. And that's just pretty much just fabric folding. And that's what that looks like. And then we'll do the same thing here where we draw a bunch of lines coming out from the crescent outwards. And then right here, I'm just gonna draw a couple, some like zigzags to show that the fabric is actually folding in those areas because that's what this is right here. You see how this is what we're drawing right here, see? Okay. Now let's kind of elaborate on this. I'm not gonna draw the butt too prominently. You don't wanna do that, you wanna try to avoid that. So here you go, you got a little bit of the shape of the of the butt part, the butt muscle right there. Um, let's draw the the knee pad actually. There's a line going across like this, like a curve, and then another curve going this way. Okay. I think there's a crescent moon. Yep. It's a good thing I have this uh, action figure. There's a crescent moon over here. It's kind of obscure, so I'm not really going to elaborate on it. But there's that, so there's that, uh, there's that line. So I'm doubling up on these lines here because that's what it looks like. It's <laughs> yes. And then I'm not going to elaborate on the tiny little like hieroglyphs or, uh, those symbols that are running on the side. So I'm just going to draw it like this and like this, which is really cool. You don't see that in the comic design, but you do see it in here. Like the MCU costume designs, they tend to over detail, which is actually good because, you know, sometimes these costumes just don't work on the, um, in real life, you know, like imagine if Captain America's costume was as simple as it looked in the comics, it would just look really weird. So anyway, so there's the other leg right there. We don't really see much of it, but yeah, there's that. Okay, now let's focus on the hands. Okay, so where the crescent meets. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the hand looking like this. Okay, so the crescent, this is where the thumb is going to go. So find the, find the thumb muscle, kind of looks like this, like that. There you go. I drew two lines down here, and now that'll sort of give you the fingers. So I've got this middle line that's gonna be the middle of the fingers, the four fingers there. And there now I found the four fingers. Then it goes like that. Okay, there's a an, a gold thing that covers the back of his forearm. And then there's wraps kind of like a boxing glove kind of like a boxers wrap their hands so there's that wrap that goes around like that and then it goes in like this diagonally and then a bunch of lines going across this way and then diagonal this way there you go very simple now let's find that uh, crescent shape you see how we have this shape right here. So now we're going to make a circle. 
where it comes out of the hand. There you go. And then once you have that, what you can do is you can erase the part where the circles meet. And then you've got that crescent shape. Now again, you can add more details to that crescent if you really want to. Okay. And then the last part is the hand. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to find the thumb. And the thumb is probably just going to go down like this. Nothing too elaborate. Lines going outward. And what we're trying to do now is we're going to try to find the side of the hand. And it looks like that. Okay. And then now you can see it's sort of curled like this. You can see a little bit of the fingers coming out on the sides. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Wrapping around the fingers pretty much looks like this. Nothing too elaborate. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The only thing that we have to draw now is the cape and the cape actually comes out of the, the hood part and then it comes out this way. Okay. Think of it as like the hood coming from the back of the neck there and going outward. And over here you don't see much of it, but what it does is it sort of curls and curves and comes out like that. And then over here you just draw a bunch of lines going from the shoulders downwards and there you go and that you guys so cleaning it up a little bit that is how you draw moon knight from the disney plus tv show And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw2 so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out, links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys next time.